Okay, this is a video of the HAL ST8000A HF modem. And uh, this section we're going to talk about the internals and uh, how I set it up for regeneration mode. Here's the internals. Uh, basically, you got some boards, uh, control boards, and uh, power supplies, and that sort of thing. Here's some important aspects of it. Um, this per terminal here is uh, for the audio in and out. This uh, one is for the digital in and out, and that connects to these two cords. And then last is the remote control unit, uh, which we don't use. Um, some important jumpers. Uh, there's jumpers and dip switches. The important one here, that's the... Uh, Input impedance, you could select well between 600 ohms and 10 kilo ohms. Since I'm feeding it with uh, a 4.7 kilo ohm feed, I switched it to uh, 10 kilo ohms, which is not the factory default. Uh, it's slightly less impedance mismatch. Uh, the other important one to hear is this one. This is the tone mute. Uh, it's jumper 8. And uh, what that does is that uh, allows the demodulator to um, feed audio tones back into the modulation output circuit. So you need to have that on the um, auto mute off. Uh, this will allow you to uh, to operate this in regeneration mode. Uh, the rest of the uh, jumpers and switches for the most part for remote control and for regular terminal operations which I don't do and uh, so they are left in the factory default. Uh, so those are the important jumpers to uh, to use if you're doing it. Uh, one other thing to note is the uh, the PROM chip. Uh, this is uh, version 1.9, uh, which is, to the best of my knowledge, the latest and greatest. So there we go.